Ah, more guests. I'm David Gansel, and welcome to Armchair Imagineering. Long before Super Nintendo World was an actual place that Universal Studios announced, it was a dream. A dream I had of a theme park filled with Nintendo properties. In fact, I once spent several hours discussing this dream with my good friend John Stutzman. Incidentally, the aforementioned John Stutzman is now a children's book author, and you should definitely purchase his books in the link in the description. And now, I'm going to describe the fantasy park we wanted to build, a park that's probably way too ambitious for Universal to actually build. The idea was that this would be a full Islands of Adventure style park, filled with plenty of lands based on plenty of properties. And much like Islands of Adventure, they wouldn't all be properties from a single company, but I'll save the non-Nintendo ideas for a different video. For now, the lands we had in mind based on Nintendo properties were based on Mario, Zelda, Star Fox, and Pokemon. Now I don't know anything about Pokemon, and this conversation was long before Pokemon Go redefined how to have an immersive Pokemon experience, so... The only Pokemon idea I had at the time was the Pokemon Safari Ride, where you could look at a bunch of Pokemon. Basically, it would be Pokemon Snap with animatronic Pokemon. That is the most times I have ever said the word Pokemon. A land I had a better vision for was the Zelda Land, where you would enter through the Hyrule Castle Town from Ocarina of Time, a perfect setting for gift shops, restaurants, and games. Oh yes, there would be Bomb Chew Bowling. Back in the castle would be a haunt-style interactive walkthrough based on all the classic Zelda dungeons where you can encounter all the monsters. And much like Special Ops Infected and Not Scary Farm, you would be armed with a laser weapon. Specifically, a sword. And you can shoot at all the monsters with your sword. You just have to kind of assume that for the entire maze you still have full hearts. By now you might be thinking, yeah, these ideas sound neat, but not all that ambitious. Like, I could see any theme park pulling these off. Well, the idea that hits that perfect middle ground of being really awesome to experience but being a terrible idea to actually practically build was our idea for a Star Fox ride. This would be a physical, real-life recreation of level 1 of Star Fox 64. Let's face it, Star Fox 64 is basically a rail shooter with limited flexibility, so in this case, said limited flexibility would be achieved by putting your R-Wing on a Kuka arm, which you control with a joystick a la the Dumbo ride. Said joystick would also have a trigger button on it so you could shoot at the enemy ships, which would somehow explode. And somehow reform by the time the next ride vehicle showed up. And each ride vehicle would only fit one or two people, and they'd be spaced out far enough that you don't see the vehicle in front of you, so... We are talking a huge amount of space for a ride with tiny capacity. Look, we were blue-skying. We weren't thinking through all the logistics. Looming at the back of the park is the Mushroom Kingdom Castle, designed primarily after its look from Super Mario 64, with a music loop consisting of an orchestrated medley of Mario map screen tunes. So, you know, it'd have a little dun 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 flowing into da 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 and so forth. In the courtyard in the back of the castle is a playground for young children, featuring a bunch of Discovery Zone or McDonald's Play Place type pipes, but painted to look like Mario pipes. The playground also has one ride, the Mario Go Round. Basically a carousel, but with Koopas and Yoshis and stuff. It's for the kids. But inside the rooms of the castle, you'd find the real rides. There'd be two Mario Kart attractions, and based on the rumors I've heard, Mario Kart might actually be the one area where Universal is more ambitious than our ideas. Because our first Mario Kart idea was just a standard go-kart track decorated to look like classic Mario Kart tracks, and our second Mario Kart idea was just a Rainbow Road roller coaster. Basically, rock and roller coaster, but even more neon. If the rumors I've heard about Universal's Mario Kart attraction are true, yeah, it's gonna do better justice to the game than ours would. But I still think Rainbow Road would be a really cool aesthetic for a roller coaster. But the main Mario E ticket would be an interactive dark ride. This would be an Omni Mover, but the vehicles would be a little more spaced out than your typical Omni Mover. Not as spaced out as in our Star Fox idea, but still spaced out enough to give things time to react. And much like the Little Mermaid or Epcot's Nemo ride, these vehicles would look like shells. Specifically, upside-down Koopa shells. And much like Buzz Lightyear, there would be a gun mounted on. 
but the gun would look like a fire flower. The bulk of the ride would be moving through different rooms based on classic Mario environments, with animatronic Goombas and piranha plants and so forth that you could shoot at for points. Then, after the vehicle made its way to the back of the building, it would come to a long hallway where it turns and faces a screen. And much like the last bit of Toy Story Mania, the vehicle would follow along with the screen as you're shooting. But in this case, the screen is depicting a classic-style Mario side-scrolling level. And Mario and Luigi are running along and jumping, and you're shooting at Koopas and question blocks for bonuses, and you're just racking up points while they run along to the end, until your vehicle turns to the final room where there's a giant animatronic Bowser on a bridge. And then you have your chance to shoot at the lever, collapsing the bridge and making Bowser fall. And if you're wondering how the effect would reset before the next vehicle showed up, So those were our pie-in-the-sky ideas for Nintendo attractions that we want to see, but what do you want to see? Let's discuss this in the comments, and until next time, this is Dave, signing off.